this video, we're going to show you how to read Madden 24 defensive coverages. Guys, this is a huge tip in Madden every single year, learning how to understand pre-snap reads and understanding kind of what are the main principles of pre-snap reads in defensive coverages in Madden. We're going to show you that in this video. Now, we're going to be in the West Coast playbook. I'm going to be taking a look at the gun bunch formation. It's my favorite uh, formation. West Coast bunch is really good this year for a lot of different reasons. Um, if you guys want to get my entire gun bunch off uh, offensive ebook, the link's going to be down in the description below. I'll put a link to that uh, down below. Again, Patreon's 10 bucks gets you access to all of our Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. And I love to play mesh posts. I love to play deep attacks. We're going to pick one of those here for you and uh, get into reading pre-snap reads. So uh, the biggest thing with pre-snap reads is you want to take a look at the safeties as soon as they come out of the huddle. That is one of the biggest tips that I can give you. And if the safeties are deep, that is going to tell you that it is probably potentially either one of three things typically that is either cover two, cover four, or some type of man-to-man -man coverage. Now, if the safeties are single high, then that means that it is probably either cover three or cover one. So you see here, I'm going to audible to cover three. As you can see, the safety kind of rolls down in the defense like this. Now, there are some kind of combo uh, concepts like this cover one robber. It does kind of look like cover uh, two, but in general uh, speaking, guys, generally speaking, most of the time, if you see single high safety just like this, it is either cover one or cover three. Now, the next big tip that I can give you for identifying what the coverage is pre-snap is then taking your eyes and looking at the outside corners. One of the most important things to do is to look at the solo wide receiver side corner in a gun bunch formation. You can also apply this to really any formation, uh, but essentially what's going to happen here is if I am in zone coverage, so I'm going to go back to that cover four. You're going to see here that the safeties are back off, right? So this looks kind of like um, either cover four or cover two. Now, when I look to the side, I notice that these corners are at about seven to 10 yards off of the ball. That is my cue that it is probably a cover four. If they were to audible to cover two, you're going to notice that they're going to be about five yards in depth off of the ball. And another big thing about zone coverage tells this year is that the quarterbacks are going to be slightly outside of the receivers. So if I see a, con a concept like this, I could go to maybe one of my plays like corner strike and just streak the slot receiver. And you're going to see this one of the best cover two beaters in the entire game. So another thing that you want to look for as far as like, is it man, is it zone, is really this next tip is super important. So as you can see, if it's zone, generally speaking, they're going to be outside. Even if I'm in a cover three, you're going to see right here that the quarterbacks on the outside are slightly to the outside, specifically the solo wide receiver. However, if I audible to cover one, you're going to notice that that cornerback is now going to be slightly inside of that outside receiver. So now I know that it's man coverage, so I can set up a man beating concept, maybe something like this. One of the best ways to beat man coverage this year uh, is to utilize drag slants, little baby in route, stuff like that. And so I can tell that it's man coverage, so I'm gonna go to my man beating concept, okay? Now, the same thing applies, let me audible down to 3-3 Cub, the meta defense, everyone's running. We have a full ebook on this on the Patreon as well, but Mike Blitz Zero. So here I'm gonna audible down, Notice that cornerback on the left side, again, slightly inside of the receiver. And then another thing is when I press up, you're going to notice that these outside corners are now looking eye to eye with the receivers. That is another big point here. So um, if I go to Tampa 2, you're going to notice that when I press up, you're going to see that that left side corner is going to be slightly outside of the outside receiver. If I'm in a cover four, um, same basic thing you're going to see here, uh, slightly outside of that outside receiver, as you can see. And even though it does kind of look fairly similar once you press, the big thing here is when I'm in cover four, if I audible to cover four, look at that outside corner. That depth is about five to ten yards. That tells me, okay, it's a split field coverage. It's not cover two because he's not pressed up, okay? So then I can set up, you know, a potential uh, – cover four beater, right? So I know, okay, maybe it's cover four. So I'm going to, you know, motion this guy out and uh, try to set up deep corner, which is one of the best ways to attack cover four every single year. So those are some key tips into understanding the pre-snap defensive coverages that you can all look at. You want to identify first and foremost, are the safeties, uh, are they too high or are they single high? And then really you want to turn your attention to the outside cornerback 
and you want to say, okay, is he outside or inside? If he is inside, you'll see right here, he's inside. Okay, that means man to man. So I need to set up a man beating concept. If he's outside, that means zone. So I need to have some kind of uh, zone beating concept. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon today for just $10. It'll get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive eBooks. And I guarantee you it's going to help you become a better Madden player. So head down to the description and go sign up at the link down below.